zero temps earlier this week still wreaking havoc on homes and schools across the metro area. Your reporter Karen Morfitt is in Broomfield where an inclusive child care center is cleaning up after busted pipes caused thousands of dollars worth of damage. The water in this room is all cleaned up now, but the damage is done and the cost of the repairs is going to hit them hard as well. Winter break lasted just a little bit longer than expected at the Balswan Child Center. It certainly impacts the school. Nick Blanchard's three-year-old son, Kaizo, is a student there. We saw that the gym was a bit of a, bit of a mess. That's not good. Just occurred to one of the kids, it sounds like it's raining inside the building. Ashley Wilson, director of education for the school, was one of the few in the building when the pipes in the ceiling burst, sending water into their gym and library. We were ready to go home for the night, um, and it was just raining. So you see <laughs> these four shelves were impacted the most. Um, all of those books, unfortunately, are gone. More than a thousand books were destroyed. Books are such an amazing tool, so to throw books away felt just so gross. <laughs> it felt so yucky. With no running water, students and teachers in five of their classrooms had to spend an extra day at home. Kids love being here, um, so when we have to close our doors and we can't even let staff in, that's that's a lot. Financially, that's hard on teachers, that's hard on families. Um, it's awful. And the damage to the building in unexpected expense that comes as they were set to launch a funding campaign to build a brand new school. I don't think it sets us back. I think it's just another hurdle we will jump over. Wilson says they'll do that with the help of the community they've built here. Families have already donated equipment, time, and lots and lots of books. I think everybody loves the school, um, and we all certainly want to help out. The response, filling their shelves, and even more, their hearts. Balswan is genuinely magic. While they have seen a number of book donations come in already, they are hoping to fill these shelves once again and fulfill their dream of building a new space. We have more information on how you can help online at cbscolorado.com. In Broomfield, Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First.